Yo, it is time to grow a pumpkin. Not just a pumpkin, a big pumpkin, but not just a big pumpkin. A big pumpkin in water. Just added the fertilizer. Very dark, kind of shiny. Now we'll fill it up to right around this line. Since this is the one we used last year, it's already kind of predetermined not to really go higher than this. I'll go prep the lid and the plant. Okay, now this is the 1282 Fenico giant, giant pumpkin, grown in a hemp powder protein container, started in soil, running Crack Key Hydroponics with the same food that we just added in here. Uh, so yeah, here in a second I'll pop the lid onto the bucket and drop that bad boy in. Okay, now we got the lid on, we got the water filled up in there. Couldn't be easier. Great part about this, also, um, well, here, let's just make sure we're at the right water level. Yeah, almost, okay. I'm actually gonna add just a little more water. And that's it, we're set. Roots hanging out at a nice level where they'll still get some air. Uh, yeah, that's about it. No daily watering, at least not for a couple weeks. And yeah, so depending on what level the water line drops to, every day last year I was adding about 10 gallons. And I probably won't feed every time that I add more water. But I feel like this is already a good start for that. One thing I learned is uh, shade and not over. Hold the shade here till about noonish. Then this kind of blends on over because I noticed uh, last year in that spot over there in the sun, even by this time in the day, it would start getting pretty wilty. So, hydroponic pumpkin. Also, a plan I have is that when that starts branching out and doing, you know, going here, going there, wherever I end up making it go, I'll add a couple more smaller totes for letting the roots in. So keep this thing more alive than we did last year, hopefully. It's been a little over a week now. Maybe a little more than that. And this is quite large. This is the 40 gallon tote. And it's, you know, it's just booming. This is actually the second flower to pop up. One popped up about two days ago. It might still be around. Yeah, there it is. This one's really growing. It's doing its thing. Leaves are starting to get much bigger. This one will probably get all big. These tendrils are trying to grab onto stuff. And of course, we've got to show the roots. Nothing to really be concerned with. Uh, the drip area is about where we had it when we first planted. And it's gone down about an inch and a half or so. All these things are just little things from trees. Um, I'm sure it'll be a problem a little bit later, but you know, whatever. The growth rate on hydro is pretty quick anyway. So I don't expect this water to really be sitting in here much longer. Probably another week or two before I have to add more water and nutrients. And check back.